Hello my friends, I hope that all of you are doing great. Today we're gonna have another out of class activity. Previously we learned about two types of pollution, air pollution and water pollution. We have listed some of the causes and effects of these two phenomena. We also suggested some solutions to stop them. Today's lesson is going to be about land pollution. And just so you know, this is going to be the last lesson about the theme of pollution. But wait a second, do we even know what land pollution is? The answer to our question is here. Land pollution means the presence of toxic chemicals in soil. It occurs mainly due to the indirect and direct effects of human activities. Now let us find out about some of the causes of land pollution. Land pollution is caused by the garbage that we throw away every single day. Even though some of this garbage is recycled, most of it is found on the ground or it is put into landfills. Mining can cause land pollution too. When people mine, it causes there to be holes that are put into the ground. These holes can release gases and toxic waste that can affect our health. Factories make waste and garbage as well. Most of these factories use chemicals that end up on the ground. Even though farming is very important, it can be a cause of land pollution. When people farm, they use chemicals to keep their plants safe. These chemicals are called pesticides or fertilizers. They are released into the ground and they can end up in our water sources. Now let us talk about the effects of land pollution. The question that we have here is how can land pollution affect humans and animals? Well, land pollution can affect humanity in many ways. It can cause birth defects, the development of breathing disorders, skin diseases and cancer. Land pollution can affect animals too. It forces them to change their habitat and that could lead to their extinction. Now I believe it's time to give some solutions for land pollution. As a solution for land pollution, we can make people aware of the concept of reduce, recycle and reuse. We can reduce solid waste pollution on land by recycling and reusing materials such as cloth, plastic bags and glass rather than disposing of them. As a second solution we can reduce the use of pesticides and fertilizers in agricultural activities. Finally we need to produce less trash. For example, instead of drinking water out of plastic bottles, we could just drink it using a cup. Now I have a task for you to do. I want you to think of three other solutions to stop land pollution. I think that's all for today my friends. I hope that you enjoyed the video and you learned new things about land pollution. Thank you very much. See you next time.